Next news out of the United Kingdom. Jeremy Clarkson sparks outrage with bushfire column, quote unquote, God didn't want people to live in Australia. So Jeremy Clarkson, for those who don't know, writes for The Sun. Um, in one of his columns, he said, God didn't want people to live in Australia. Plainly, God is embarrassed because he's decided to set fire to it. Um, he says that Australia isn't meant for human habitation due to its stupid, dangerous creatures. Is that supposed to be like funny or something? And like, wait, no. Uh, he didn't mean this in a, in a joke way at all. Oh, so he's serious. He believes this. He believes this. Yes. Okay. Some of the people who are defending him are saying that it was tongue in cheek, and people are getting all butt hurt. Yeah. I mean, but other people are saying whether it's a joke or not, it's really insensitive. I mean, we're having a massive crisis here. How is this helpful? That kind of thing. I think people don't understand when when we make fun of people for being offended and wanting to cancel everything for being offended. I don't think it's wrong to be offended. What's wrong is that you're saying if you use that offense as a weapon to shut other people up. But I have no problem with people saying, like for example, let's say I, I write a book or put out a meme or put out a YouTube video. That, and somebody comes and says, well, I find this extremely offensive. Um, I have no problem with them saying that. And they should be able to make a content on my content saying why this is offensive. The problem is only when somebody says, I'm offended, therefore you should be shut down. Right? So, and I think that this whole, uh, this whole we weaponizing offense has been being used so common. And so people are so tired of, of it that their response has now been... Don't you? You shouldn't be offended. Like people, a lot of people on the other side, the anti-social justice warrior side, are saying, are going beyond your offense doesn't mean that I should shut up. They're going, uh, why are you offended? Offend being offended is by just we. No, I mean, if I, if somebody comes and says, you know, all purple people need to die because I hate purple people. I mean, if you're not offended by that, then there's something wrong with you, right? Just, you should be offended by some things, right? But it, it doesn't mean that that person, that we should be able to force that person not to say that anymore. But there's nothing wrong with being offended. It's just your offense shouldn't be limiting other people. That's all. You should be able to control what you get, what you see and what you don't see. If you, if you being offended hurts you so much that you can't take it, you should be able to not consume the kind of content that you don't enjoy that you don't enjoy consuming or if you're fine with being offended and you want to go out and point out to people why this is offensive you should be able to do that as well that's fine as well so yeah i think this is a offensive comment um and people have every right to say why they're offended in fact people that are accusing the offended groups of why are they being why are they offended they should shut up well you're doing the same thing as they're doing because you're offended by the fact that they're offended right? <laughs> <laughs> right? you're triggered by them being triggered so i mean yeah i'm fine with i think this is a offensive like insensitive comment and but it should be allowed nobody should be able to cancel it even though it is insensitive and not only he should be able be allowed to say it other people should also be allowed to Say why this was such a dumb comment to make. Is that a fair assessment? What do you guys think? I think so. I mean, I think that this guy has a history. Like, this is kind of his shtick. Right. You know, th says something that some people might find insensitive and see what happens. You know, like a starts fires and walks away kind of guy. Mm. So, for me, I think the best thing to do with people like that is if it you find it insensitive or hurtful, ignore it. That's not going to happen, though, because you... I know, but I'm yeah. saying that that's what I would do. I think that I would just ignore it and move on. I mean, you, if, if you can't ignore it if everybody else is paying attention to it, and your job is to that's cover... That's true. And your job is to cover things that people are paying attention to. <laughs> I'm talking about the people who are taking offense and right. saying, how dare you, this is a terrible thing, you're a bad person... Right, but I, I, I mean, to I me, guess, there's so much stuff going on in Australia. Why worry about this jerk? Um, I guess that's yeah. Okay, go ahead. What were I you think, saying? I think a lot of uh, atheists want to 
be reminded of how how again i can't use swear words so i don't know what to say how bad some religious people can be i think a lot of atheist people like that like to be reminded of that i think that's a bit mm. of you know to be like i think it's it's a way of reminding them them to themselves that they they are superior because religious people are so evil sometimes you know i think this is kind of like an atheist circle jerk oh wait can i say that i don't know i said it right. an atheist <laughs> that's circle. not a swear word yeah it's not okay so but I, I i just think like this is like this throwing red meat at the at atheist community like oh like look at this god believing person saying i mean it's fine though i'm not saying it's wrong i'm making fun of them a little bit uh, my own community a little bit but i i mean it's fine it's fine to remind people that look people with god could be you know some a-holes right uh, so that you remind people that religion doesn't give you morality um, and I know atheists gr grow up around communities constantly telling them that they are they c how could they be moral if they're atheists so every time they see a story like this they just jump on it it's fine it's fine thing to do I, I'm, I'm not against it but it is something that atheists enjoy a lot and that's why news like this gets a lot of attention when somebody says god this god that and then they this, this say something so horrible it's just an ama it's just something it's just something to bring atheists together and hate on just get united on hating at this person together it just brings us together and hate right <laughs> but, <laughs> i'm not convinced he's actually a religious person oh, okay. i think he was just saying it to say you know hmm. something like that but I think you're right, though, that a lot of times people sort of get off on right. thinking they're superior and these religious people are just dumb and ignorant and Immoral. they say say and do bad things. Right. What do you think? What do you guys think, Ali and Shubham? Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, Vincent in our live chat kind of uh, summed it up for me. There's levels. I won't allow someone to be racist in my space. They can be racist in their own space. And tolerance won't be tolerated. Um, and that, that's kind of like how I live even online on Atheist Republic the main page. You can say whatever you want, do whatever you want. But when it comes to my timeline, what I get to see where I am, I'm not going to let someone come in there spouting some mm -hmm. ignorant stuff all the time. So, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's degrees, there's levels for me. This guy, of course, he should be allowed to say what he wants to say. And we have the right to say, hey, you know what? I don't want to see any articles um, by him anymore and right. not read them. Aaron is the top comment he or she is saying, meh, I'm an Aussie. I'm very close to these affected areas. I find it hilarious. I don't think he's, I, f I don't think Aaron's talking, finding the, Affected areas hilarious. I think he's saying the the line by Jer Jeremy is hilarious. So dark, then Aaron continues by saying dark humor is practically an Australian rite of passage. Oh, there you go. Some people find it funny. Some people find it offensive. Uh, we all get to say that we, you know, people come out and say, well, I find it offensive or humorous or nothing, um, and we move on. So not, no harm done. Just don't cancel people over it, okay? Just quit the cancel culture. Just express your you being triggered. Express finding it hilarious. <laughs> express your indifference, or don't say anything at all, and move on, right? Um, don't cancel people over things you find offensive. All right. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. 
انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.